Hello there friends! In this video, we're going to work our abs with some plank variations. So follow along with me and let's have some fun. Um, if you haven't already, you can warm up your wrists a little bit. Warm up your body a little bit with some gentle, easy movement. Alright, let's get started. Now, while you're doing these ab plank exercises, make sure you tuck in your abs so you feel your navel is being drawn back, okay? All right. So it's good to spread out your fingers so you're not putting too much pressure in your wrist. All right. And you can do a half plank here, as you can see, or imagine you go on your toes. And may remember you go on toes too. Remember, pull in here. So you're gonna round your back a little bit, spread your fingertips wide, and then lean forward a little bit and feel like you're pushing the ground away with your hands, with your toes. Feel really strong. All right. So for our first variation, we're going to lift one leg at a time, very carefully, like this. And while you do that, try to keep the rest of your body stable. Try to keep your weight pressed into both hands evenly. All right, this is really good because also besides working, you know, your abdominals and your shoulders, it also especially works your hamstring and your glutes. So let's do a few more and then I'll show you some other variations. Okay, so that was working more for our lower body. Now I want to work some more upper body. And for this, um, we're going to do some shoulder taps, which you might not think of as a plank exercise, but like basically you're in a plank, right? When you're doing this. So I'll try to do it again. Stay in a good, with good form and try to keep your weight evenly distributed. So even when you're lifting one arm up to tap your shoulder, don't try to like move your hips around too much. And that's going to require good coordination and good control. And obviously it's going to help strengthen your arm a lot. Let's do a few more here. All right, again, ever need a break, you know, help your wrist shake out a little bit and then let's get back into it okay so so far mary's been showing you this is a what we call a high plank and now we want to go and do an elbow plank so gently lower yourself to your elbows and again keep your core pulled in press away from the floor keep your shoulder girdle open so don't crush, don't like fall into it. Keep yourself pressing up. And this is good. And in this pause, you can do some hip dips, which are really good for our obliques. Again, try to keep the control. And you'll really feel it working, your waist. Now that you can do is go back and forth, and that really works your biceps, as well as your shoulders, and of course, those beautiful abs. All right, now we want to combine the high plank with the low elbow plank. So let's do some going back and forth, and that's really gonna work our chest as well in particular, I should say. All right, so we can start in a half plank, and then down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, and we can switch sides. So if you started going on your right, like Mary did, start with your left. Down, down, up, up. You can also hold like a high plank for like 30 seconds, Go down to your left hand, 
Hold that for 30 seconds, or hold it for a minute, hold for 10 seconds, whatever level you're at. As you can tell, Mare is getting a little bit out of breath. <laughs> so it's kind of hard to talk and work out at the same time. So please forgive Mare. But Mare hopes you learned a little something or has had fun <laughs> doing some planks with Mare. And Mare wishes you the best of luck on whatever fitness journey you're doing. And let's see each other again later. Bye-bye.